Hey, what's going on? I'm Kevin Hart. And I'm Mark Wahlberg. And this is Ask a Grown Up. Kevin tells a lot of bad jokes well, for a living. That's, okay, that's... <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Uh, he, he, he tells jokes that are only appropriate for your parents. How do you make a napkin dance? Put a little boogie in it. That Ooh. type of heat you can find in an arena near you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Sold out. Yeah. KevinHartNation.com well, I don't want to say anything and get her hopes up. Then it doesn't happen. Kevin? You gotta tell your parents to pony up. There is no fairy. Cat's out the bag. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> wow, the heartbreak. I'm sorry. I just gave him an idea for a new company name. Oh, heartbreak. my God. Guys, I got a company. <laughs> Somebody, hey, grab this LLC. Hey, incorporate heartbreak right away. Heartbreak, please. <laughs> Of course, somebody that will have your back no mm -hmm. matter what. Somebody Trust that, you, that cares for you, that can count on you. Uh, somebody that you can confide in. Somebody that will punch somebody in the face for you. That just went dark. Yeah. Styling gel, One Direction type stuff. One Direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's minimal. I don't have to do much, as you can see. But I do have to dye my hair. I'm getting old. It's very gray. If I let it go, it's very, very gray. You'll be shocked. Let's just say, if you see Kevin in the morning, it's like <laughs> it's, watching an episode of Sanford and Son. He's he not would, playing Lamar. He would think I was Danny Glover. We're both two uh, very conservative guys when it comes to clothes. It doesn't get too crazy. We got our fitness kind of casual yeah, look yeah. and then a little more business casual. Yeah. Yeah, we tried yeah. to dress accordingly. But in the movie, we're wearing sweatsuits because uh, his character, Huck, and my character, um, basically... One of the ones. more important things for a successful soiree is for people to have matching outfits. That way, when you're coordinating and you're taking pictures, everything is very uniform and it's... It's nice. That's a great answer. By the way, he got there a lot faster than I would. That's you know, the vision. I was going down a long road and I don't know where it was going to end up. Well, you know, your parents are always, always close enough. I, I, we always loved, my wife and I always loved when the kids wanted to stay in the bed with us. Because, you know, we knew that there was just a short window for that kind of time and them to, to, to want to be that close to us. You know, my, uh, my youngest son is four years old now and he thrives in saying he slept in his bed all by himself. Because at a young age, you know, he would sleep in his bed and he would get out in the middle of the night and come get in our bed. But it is a big deal when you do start sleeping in the bed by yourself. It's like one of the first signs of like growing up. So I will say, although you needed your dad, you will need that time that you'll soon call your me time. So look forward to being in the bed by yourself, buddy. Your dad's gonna celebrate you more. That's easy. That's easy. Yeah, that's a simple. When mommy comes home. Yeah, that's what it, it all is. starts to simmer. Daddy's been away doing a movie for a long time. Mm -hmm. Daddy's gone. Yeah, mommy, time. mommy starts to get a little angry. <laughs> what happens is the ground rumbles a little bit. That then stirs up what's called the core of the earth. Because when mommy gets mad, well, the whole world's got to feel it. So now <laughs> that. That lava flows, and when mommy finally goes, you got some nerve! That's the, that's the lava coming up. It's attached to a woman's fury. There it is. That's yeah. not where I was going with that, but anyway. I mean, it's great. That's a great answer. Yeah. Daddy, baby! Happy birthday! Thank you, brother. You look good. Oh. Hey, whoa. Hey, guys, say hi to my oldest friend in the world. Yeah, you, you want a towel? No, I'm good. I'm